Good morning. We are mixing it up a bit today. We are taking a break from the weekly vlogs, which will be back on Monday as usual. And I am filming something that has been highly requested. Um, it came up in my Q&A video that I did during Vlogmas. Um, and I get messages about it all the time. So I thought I would film a little video. So you get in an extra video this week. And we are going to film me creating black background shots. If you don't know what they are, I'll insert some here. So everyone always asks how these are done and it is so simple. So I thought I'd put together this little tutorial, um, this quick video, um, just to show you how I do it. I'm sure there are lots of other ways, other photographers might do it differently, but this is how I achieve these black background shots. Um, I get lots of compliments on them. Um, so I thought I would just show you behind the scenes. If you don't know who I am and you're watching this because someone shared it or you've just come across it somehow, my name's Sophie Callahan. I am an equine photographer living in the UK. I'm also a vlogger and a blogger. Thank you for watching. Everybody meet Jasper. He is our model for today. He's um, a little bit fluffy on his head, but you know, he's not in work and we shouldn't judge. <laughs> Oops. So you want to take your pony into the doorway of a stable and bring them as far forward as you possibly can so they're almost out of the stable door. Um, if you can find a stable doorway that is completely in shade, that will help you a lot. We don't want any sunlight really, uh, we want a nice um, even light on the pony. In terms of kit, I am using my Nikon D750 and my 70-200 to lens. Ask the handler to step outside the stable because we want to use them to get the pony's ears forward and if they're in the stable the pony will just turn around and look at them. And then it's just a matter of getting those ears forward. So I've uploaded my images and I've chosen the image I want to use. Um, I've done all my ordinary edits to it, which is a whole nother video. Um, and so I prefer to have my contrast and my clarity up high. I find that with the really dark um, black background, it, it just makes the image pop more. You get those really rich tones and I just prefer the overall look. So then you're going to need to go to your adjustment brush um, in Lightroom and make sure that all of your settings are normal or not um, and then you want to take your exposure right down um, as low as it will go. We, we can make that brush a little bit bigger, we don't want quite as much feathering, that's from something I was doing earlier in the day and then you simply roughly go around the entire image blacking out the background so try not to get too close to your subject um, because obviously then you will blacken out your subject so get as close as you possibly can we're going to go around and tidy up the edges in a minute next I zoom right in I get a new brush same settings, exposure as low as it will possibly go um, and then I go in around the edges and again just blackening everything that you can see, we're getting rid of that hand there um, and simply get as close to the, so, the subject as you can without obviously moving in on it. So you'll need to use the small navigator in the left hand corner um, to move around your image and you literally just go all the way around
Once you've um, completely blacked out your background, you can then sort of adjust the exposure and the clarity and everything on the actual image just to make sure that it really fits um, with the background and um, it's as you want it. So I'm also going to just do a little bit of tidying up here because usually my models um, are fairly clean before I photograph them but we dragged poor old Jasper out of his stable um, and he didn't have time to fix his bed hair so we're going to get rid of some of these shavings in his mane just by using the spot removal tool. That's a bit better. Okay, so then I add a graduated filter. Again, make sure that your exposure is as low as it will go and then just go from the bottom and drag upwards. I usually drag too far and then take it back down so that it's a little bit more graduated and not quite as um, harsh. I find that that just makes it look less like you've plonked an ordinary photo onto a black um, background and more like the horse is actually standing in a dark space. I then often come across, um, if, the horse is, if you can see the horse's back, sometimes it's nice to come across um, from the side as well, again just so that it looks like the shadow is just filtering across the horse's back. And then the last thing I do is I'm just going to add some detail to the horse's eye. So again I'm going in with my adjustment brush, I'm lowering the blacks and I'm just going around the edges um, just to really make those that eyeliner that he looks like he's wearing pop. Um, and then I just go into the middle of the eye and again just give him a little bit of a darker middle. So we then get a new brush um, and I'm going to accentuate the highlight so that nice little catch light on his eye and that waterline along the bottom. We just want to make those really stand out. And then very lastly you get a new brush again increase your exposure slightly and just go along that lighter part of his eye um, and that just really gives him a lovely eye um, that really stands out when you look at the entire image. Lastly I just go across the whole eye with the adjustment brush and a higher clarity um, just to finish it off and that's your finished image. You're then ready to export that and save that to your files. So I hope you find this video helpful um, and I hope you're now going to all go away and create incredible black background photos. Um, as you can see it's super simple, super easy but so effective and a real firm favourite with my clients and I'm sure it will be with yours too. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like on the video if you found it helpful and if you want to leave a comment in the um, comments below telling me what you'd like to see next on my videos or with any questions you have I would love to hear from you and I will see you on Monday for another weekly vlog.